and we fixed it to look like this. All right, y'all, if you're anything like me, you're freaking fed up trying to get your ATEM mini color situation to match what you're seeing on your monitor on your FX3 and it's a whole freaking cluster. So here's the problem, and let me show you what I'm seeing. Right now, the video that you are seeing is coming straight from my FX3 with my little fancy LUT splashed on top and recorded onto the internal SD card, but that LUT should be getting sent over here into the ATEM Mini. So essentially what I've got here is three different source situation magics going on with the ATEM Mini. The first recording that you're gonna see here is what's coming straight out of the ATEM Mini. This right here is coming straight from the FX3 and what you're seeing now is the normal capture situation coming from the A10 Mini. As you can see it's contrasty, colors are funky, something's not right. Now when I run the video signal out of the HDMI from the ATEM into a Camlink 4K and into the computer it looks like this. Better. It looks better. So we've got a difference between the USB capture, which treats it like a webcam, and the HDMI input through the Camlink 4K. Now here's the kicker. Here's the trick. If I add a deprecated video capture device, give it a cool name, make sure and select Black Magic, uncheck Use Preset, select the resolution and frame rate, then we're gonna go ahead and change the color space to Rec. 709 and switch it to full. Smash that OK button and you've got a wonderful looking image coming straight out of the A10 Mini. So we started with this ugly, contrasty, jacked up image coming out of the A10 Mini and we fixed it to look like this.